So here we are again. It's been about uh, ten minutes, and uh, Genevieve now is completely under. She's intubated, and we're making first cuts. And uh, I'm just going to scoot around the front here. You can see that she's got a she's got a tube, and that runs to a machine. Let's uh, make sure that she's kept under properly. And now we've got people standing by to start shaking puppies down. So there's two horns to the uterus on a dog. Is that is that yes. all, all mammals yes. that way? No, I guess well dogs are. They're dogs are. Yeah, most most mammals are. Some you know aren't. The humans aren't, are they? No. It's yeah. a single uterus. So yes. two horns to the uterus. So we, so what do you do? You pull both horns out now. I usually just try to pull one. Pull one out to make some relief, yeah. so you can get the next one out. Yeah. Well, now the question is how big a how big a hole to make to be yeah, able to get the first one out. These are going to be pretty yep. tough. So this looks pretty rough, but it's completely normal. So yeah. you know, if, you, oh, if yeah. you're here watching this, don't. Uh, yeah. and that's a decent sized puppy. Two, yes. two couple of decent sized puppies there, at least, isn't yes. it? Yeah. So that's that's one of the horns, and that's probably what two puppies. Two puppies. Two puppies. Like, yeah, maybe three. Maybe three. Uh, Christian guessed on four puppies, and I was thinking maybe five. So Christian might be earning money on this one. So there's a small decisions being made so they can get, I guess what the secret here is you, you want to make not too big an incision and in the right place right. so that you yeah. don't get tearing in the future. Yes. So knowing what you're doing here, the vet that's done C-sections is probably pretty important, isn't it? Yes. Yep. So typically puppies that we produce range from about seven being small and twelve being big and this is this is up about twelve and yes. eleven, twelve ounce size, which is yep. good. Yeah. Yeah, and then you'll see here that was actually breathing, so yeah. that's a nice sign. Typically you might see them completely lifeless and it'll scare the heck out of you. And nothing may happen for two or three minutes, so this can but this puppy here is actually taking breaths, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah he's he's gonna be moving. Which, uh, which is a good sign, I like that. Yep. So now what Dr. Keith is doing is tying off the umbilical cord so we can cut it. And then this puppy now goes to Kristen and she now starts to get pretty rough with it. So the, what she's doing is she needs to get the fluid out dried off so it doesn't hey you're always squealing. That's that's a really good sign. That doesn't normally happen for a minute or two, so you'd like to hear that. So the the now the, the purpose is, is to get the puppy dried off so it doesn't get cold and then get the fluid out of its lungs and uh, normally they don't start breathing for a minute or two or make any noise but this guy here is going right away so I'm about to here comes a second puppy and so at this point I'm going to turn this off and I'm going to go to work yeah they're going to be good there they're going to be good there trying to move already another decent sized puppy yeah and is there one more in that horn yes yeah okay I have five or more. Not the colour that I was expecting, but that's all right. I'm not sure exactly what this colour is here. It's like a red, a red, not a, not a, uh, not a pie. Yeah, that's good. You get, a, you get attached to certain. Yeah, you do, you do. Well, thanks a lot. Thank you. And that one's screwing too, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. So what you're seeing here is the placenta, mm -hmm. and I've got to kind of squeeze it out like a sausage, I guess.
And at this point, can you tell anything about adhesions and how the uterus looks, or is that? Uh, this one has quite a few adhesions. Is it? Yeah, from the There's last one. There's one underneath that towel. Mm. If you want to. Oh, is it doing okay? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, little girl, and you're funny sized. Little girl? How's the palette look on that one? Can you show us the palate? So this is one of the things you check for, is, is you've got to look in their mouth and see whether or not there's a gap up in the top and you don't want to see that, and there isn't a gap there, so that looks good. And how's girl, that look? and girl and good. Girl and good. And what's that sex is that one? Girl. Female. Two females. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. Here comes a pie. Tell would be happy to see this. Another big oh, puppy. Oh, that's a pie. Another big puppy. All good sized puppies, what's yeah. like? Yep. So you can see here it looks like an awful mess at the moment, but that gets tidied up here pretty quick. Do you ever have people come in here and get squeamish on this? Do you, do you, let, do you typically let customers come back if they want to? Is that pretty normal? Yes. So we're not special then? We thought we were special. Oh, you are. You just <laughs> yeah. don't know how. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Christian. Some people are squeamish. And they, if they are, they don't come in. They just yeah. walk out. But they, right. yeah, they are. Yeah, so I one are. thing you don't want to do, by the way, is you're looking at this and just mm -hmm. start pointing with your finger and touching things because you want to know what's going on because mm -hmm. that's a, set, that's a, a uh, sterile, field. sterile field. So, you know, that's all been cleaned up and gloves are on and we, you, you don't even want to be shaking your head over and getting the hairs in there or anything. Here's puppy number three. Male. What's that, a male? Mm hmm Okay. So now you're pulling the placenta yeah, out. Yeah, it's got to the placenta So that's the, that's the, every dog has a placenta and they've all got to be removed and accounted for. And now we start to work on... The opposite horn. Opposite horn. And here it comes. And they all come out the same incision. So you put an incision down where the where the kind of bifurcation is yeah. of the horn, right? Yeah, yeah. where the what you call the body of the uterus. Or body of the uterus, okay. <coughs> and so you don't have to. And then you choose the right place. If you choose the wrong place, the, the dog could strain and have a, a rupture. Well, that or just you know, if you get it maintained position, so you just have to make one incision, not make two. Okay. Right. So you just only got one incision. So if you get it down the horn, down the body of the uterus instead of the horn, then you don't have to make two if you have to go in the body. And sometimes you'll have to. I've had some dogs, you can't get the uterus out, so you'll have to make a Set two incision. Get some out and yeah. take the pressure off. Yeah, take the pressure off if you just don't have any room. All right. <coughs> that doesn't happen real often, but occasionally. Okay. So how are these going? Is that one doing all right, Kristen? Mm -hmm. well, that's okay. it. Four. That's it? Okay. Yeah, so only one another one. Gosh. Kristen wins. Again. Kristen wins. Again. All right. I figured there'd be more. Yep. Three Just one on the other horn, eh? Just one, yeah. Is that one, is that one breathing? Mm-hmm. Great. So, so, all right. Already all right. talking. Already talking. It's a female. Yeah, that's that's a female. It's a female. Yeah. Great. And, and I think she's by the pat smallest one. Palette looks, yeah, still these says palette looks good. Yep. Good. All right. All so, well. we're going to hang up for a moment here, but basically what's going to happen now is it's clean up time. So it's shut. Mm. So it's shut. So the uterus shut and then close the body wall, put everything back and close the body wall. All right. So there we go. Thanks, Dr. Keith. We appreciate it. You're welcome.